This movie tells a story about a team of journalists who embark on a journey across a dystopian future America as they race against time to reach Washington, D.C. before rebel factions arrive upon the White House. First of all, this movie has immersive and harrowing sound and visuals. Unfortunately, the story and its environment feels underdeveloped and the movie is undermined by its dearth of specificity. The movie is unclear whether it wants to explore or exploit the state of the nation. The detail of the conflict is ambiguous and both-sided. It says a lot and nothing at once. The movie doesn't explain why California and Texas join forces against the U.S. government or what sort of policies the fictional president is known for. The details of why the war began are only sprinkled in among dialogue about a president who refuses to speak to the press and has bombed American civilians. The decision to pit California and Texas against the rest of the country in a bid for freedom could have provided a rich vein of political and social commentary. The movie offers little in the way of coherent world building around this divide, where its extrapolation of current trends comes across as underdeveloped. It's not trying to traffic in specific parallels or specificity at all, which is what makes this story a sometimes frustrating and maddeningly murky affair. It refuses to make a connection with any context, which feels more like a cop-out than self-restraint. The movie's depiction of America is generic, making it often feels ungrounded. There's little sense of progress in the character's journey because of all the details the movie will fully ignore. The film's messaging, aiming for depth and resonance, instead skims only the surface, leaving the audience adrift in a sea of vagueness and ambiguity. The story is large in scope but hollow at the center. The movie takes half measures in the characters as well. Everyone is not explored enough. We learn nothing about the motivation behind their work, and their social dynamic is rather problematic. It's disappointing that all the script can think of to do with the cast is a half-hearted juxtaposition about their respective ages. The story too often feels like it's working through generic cautionary tale cliches of following in the footsteps of one's idol, rather than saying anything noteworthy about these characters, their values, or journalism. They remain strangers to us, and so do their professions. We eventually stop caring about what happens to these people, as only the most basic and innate empathy remains. It fails to make journalists interesting characters to such a degree that major climactic moments fail to elicit a reaction. Some extended scenes of violence inflicted on certain characters feel really jarring, as it's contrasting sharply with the rapid pace of chaos for everyone else. The final assault on the White House is loud and jolting, but once it's over, the movie offers nothing. It gives no summation of all that we've been subject to over the last two hours. Overall, despite its ambitious premise and fantastic cast, the movie stands as a muddled reflection, ultimately rendering its cautionary tale less impactful than intended. It's not worth to watch this in theaters, just wait on your streaming service.